Dr. Silva with Sending Process, and I am going to go over the responsive sensor control available in our Enterprise Edition of the Spark Toolkit. The responsive sensor allows you to control the page layout flow of your co coaches. The responsive sensor should be used with a vertical or horizontal layout section. Here I have a responsive sensor, and under configuration, we have box factors. Uh, box factors are where you set um, the responsive functionality uh, and when it is triggered. So here I have two box factors. Um, the name, you can name it whatever you want, and the width uh, in pixels. Now events, you can use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control with events. Uh, for this example, I don't have any events set. So here we have a horizontal layout. And in the configuration, this is where you set the responsiveness. The responsive sensor here is optional. You don't have to put anything in here. But if you want to, you can put the control ID of the responsive sensor. You can see here the control ID is responsive underscore sensor 1. And here is where you would set your behaviors. So the box factors that I had configured in the responsive sensor, you can put them here. So the box factor name, narrow, um, and when the page is 600 pixels or less, this is what um, I want to do. Uh, child layout, you have these different options here. Child align. Child width, you can put, um, you know, what the width of the page you want it to be. And visibility, whether you want it to be visible, uh, none or hidden. You can set the width and height. Uh, CSS style and CSS class. Uh, so when the page is 600 pixels or less, um, it will, the text boxes here will reflow and the background color will change. Here I have another horizontal layout. I don't have the responsive sensor control ID in here, again, because it's optional. Behaviors, I have narrow. Um, so when the page is 600 pixels or less, um, this is what it's going to do, and the background color will change. And when it's a 1,000 pixels or less, so the box factor name large, um, this is what it's going to do, um, and the background color will change. So let's play this. Okay, so you can see um, here's the default layout. Uh, no responsiveness um, is being triggered yet. But when the page uh, starts to... smaller, you can see, okay, so now we're a thousand pixels or less and the buttons have reflowed uh, ref uh, uh, underneath each other and the background um, color has changed. However, the top is still larger than 600 pixels, so they haven't reflowed yet. So I'm going to keep going here. So now you can see we're 600 pixels or less, uh, so the background color has changed and the text boxes are now um, reflowed underneath each other. And again, the background uh, color here changed as well. Okay, so you can see the responsiveness of this. So now I'm going to show you how you can get more information on the Spark Toolkit. First go to uh, salientprocess.com and click on support. And then click on learn more about Spark Toolkits. And this will take you to a form to fill out and someone will be in contact with you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now, once you have access to the Spark Toolkit, you can browse our knowledge base articles um, as well as our getting started section. Uh, so each control has a knowledge base article. So you can see here, here's the responsive sensor article documentation. And we have a getting started area as well with helpful articles. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.